I just got everything ready for to record this video. Like I got everything set up and learned that the internet for Spectrum has been out for my entire county all morning and you kind of need that to use eBay. So I guess I have an excuse to clean up this crap at least. Since the keyword for this episode is junk, I think Quest 64 being on the TV back there is probably the most fitting option. All right, so it's been two days. Uh, my internet outage that day was worse than I thought. Uh, some government employee decided to tear up a uh, 500 cable, well, 500 fiber strands that all had to be manually repaired. So two days later, I have internet back and we can record this video, but now on a time limit because I have to go to work. So yeah, we're starting a new series, eBay shopping. Yeah, I know, clever name. Uh, we're going to be buying things with certain keywords. Uh, I don't have an unlimited budget here, so it's going to be whatever I think might be funny or worth doing. But as is fitting for the channel name, the keyword for today is junk. And yeah, you're mostly going to find crap like this, apparently. Like, people just cleaning out junk drawers. But it's usually, like, jewelry and crap like that half the time. And we're not, we're not looking for jewelry. Like, here's a wrestling poster from 1989. See, that's what we're looking for. Uh, with Junkyard Dog versus the Mad Russians. What the... Vintage 1984 LJN Titan Sports Junkyard Dog WWF WWE wrestling figure. This is $35. Look at this high quality model right here. Look, <laughs> why is this $35? Oh my god. Not only like, yeah, it's super old, I get it. It's like a vintage thing, but like they just they just took a standard action figure, put this wrestler's face on him, and made him wet, and then just painted red, like, no, go back. Like, painted, like, red pants. Like, look, there's not even, like, a seam there. They just painted the legs red and called them pants and just made his skin look super wet. All right, we're not finding enough interesting crap, just not, not doing any filters. So we're going to buy it now, because who's going to do an auction for random junk? And, uh, oh, it's already set for newly listed. Okay, so we got Chinese money, uh, antique, uh, antique junk drawer lot collectibles. Uh, not gonna try and pronounce the rest of that. <laughs> it always scares me whenever one of these troll things pops up when I refresh a new page. Wait, are you kidding me? Fallout 76 junk bundle? Hold up. I've actually been playing a lot of Fallout 76 lately. I recently got into it, and it's all I've been doing. And people are selling junk bundles. For those of you who haven't played the game, the whole point of junk in that game is that you can break it down for materials. In this case, these are the materials here. And use it to either, like, repair weapons and armor, uh, craft weapons and armor, craft bullets, uh, and of course build up your camp, your, your base. Um, I have a feeling that if you buy this from eBay... You're probably going to get a ban because this dude's more than likely hacking. It's not a guarantee that he is hacking because some late game players can really farm this crap. But 10,000 of aluminum, copper, crystal adhesive, plastic, lead, and steel, and 250 cobalt and crimson for $13. That does not sound right. $12 buys you, uh, a month buys you the... Uh, Fallout first subscription. So maybe this is legitimate and this dude is just grinding really hard and trying to make his monthly money back for his Fallout first subscription. <laughs> All right, uh, junk, junk drawer, yard sale, lot, garage, random items, watches, keychain, spinners. Yeah, there are some, some fidget spinners in there, some random coins, uh, a mini tape measure, some more than likely broken watches. Now see, this is the junk- look, a Deadpool figure. <laughs> okay, so this is an auction, but it also has a buy it now price. But it's $10 shipping, and it's just a bunch of really old kids toys. Like, these are- this is like some 90s crap. Look at this. It's like, you know, like, uh, Chip and Dale, uh, whatever the hell the frog is. It's a giant hand clapper. Why? This is like looking at photos of my childhood, man. Um, for the most part. Uh, we got like a stitch down here holding multiple guns. Like, who's buying these? I guess it would make sense if you have like a real- a really young kid and like, you know, you're struggling to buy toys for him. 
But I don't think $10 plus $10 is worth it. Now this right here, 14 plus $8. <laughs> we can get a really creepy cl Oh my god, that panda is missing an eye. It's like melted where the eye is supposed to be. I think searching for junk on eBay is how you find the disturbing crap. That is just creepy. That is a creepy panda. Yeah, we're getting a lot of Yu-Gi-Oh cards right in a row because Yu-Gi-Oh has like a series of junk creatures. Look, more Fallout 76. Fusion cells plus junk items. Plus uh, 15k circuits, copper, steel, scrap, and aluminum. Uh, I'm assuming that's steel scrap. I mean, yeah. Copper is also called a copper scrap. You don't need to include that. So much Fallout. PC flame, uh, flamer fuel and junk items. 25k flamer fuel. I don't get why people feel the urge to do this. Like, I kind of get it because, you know, they can make money off of a game that they play. Um, but a lot of people aren't going to buy these because it's super shady and Bethesda likes to throw down the band hammer. Not only that, but there's already an in game economy. You can sell these to other players in game. Like, you can set up your own shop, set your own prices. Like, why why eBay? I don't think the $8 is worth it, man. All right, what do we have here? $15 and $12.50 shipping. Uh, I don't know what the big black box is. We got uh, two cocks there. Uh, couldn't tell you what those buildings are with the tree. Uh, an elephant a membership club box, whatever the hell that is. In Madden 13. Oh, okay, these are like salt and pepper shakers. They look really inconvenient. So I'm guessing you fill them from the bottom, but like you have to like turn it upside. And like the other one's like coming out of like the chest. It's, it's coming, I don't know why I'm pointing at my screen. It's coming out of the, why? You can't even fill this one up all the way because it would just start pouring out here. Same with this, like all of this is going up. You couldn't fill it all the way because it would start pouring out of that. And there's no way to seal it, so when you're filling it, it's going to be falling out of the holes. Oh, Friendship Club. My favorite. Yeah, I, I, I really want to buy this for Madden. Madden 13, you know, very expensive, very rare game. What is this? Junk drawer, new and vintage collectibles, item, wholesale box. It's just whole boxes of random crap, like giant totes and shit i'm really tempted <laughs> it's 18 dollars and eight dollars shipping Ooh, the seller doesn't have the best feedback one sold do we have feedback on the one sold no so if i go to this person's page not only does it break my computer um but we're not seeing any items that they're listing they don't have any publicly listed items i can't view it from their page and, like, all of their negative reviews seem to be, because they all say private listing. It doesn't tell you exactly what it was that they bought, like most people who sell things on eBay. And it looks like a lot of them are buying this, like, random junk crap. And they're all complaining because, like, it doesn't actually match the description or everything that was sent to them was just broken crap. It's literally called junk, man. Like, I agree that this person seems a little shady. But, like, it's called junk. Oh, this... This has to be illegal. My ex-husband's junk drawer. Novelty gag lot. This is not novelty. I'm sorry. You're selling... You're selling handicapped parking tags. And fake money. And like that $100 bill, bill doesn't look fake, man. Like, people are gonna see this. And just glance over it. Usually people don't examine these things super thoroughly when you park in a handicapped spot with these things on your car. I don't know what you'd really use the stickers for. But like that $100 bill. That $100 bill at a passing glance would look real. It still kind of looks real because the photo's really blurry. And like obviously that one's not. But like you're just selling... You're just selling stuff that are probably really illegal to sell. Alright, what do we have here? Junk drawer lot. One dollar and five sixty shipping. The shipping is always ridiculous on these things. Spinner tops, medium pro rain cover. It, it, it's a poncho. We have binoculars. What the hell is all of this? Why are there binoculars in here? What is this? What is this? Is that an out? That's an outlet. That is... Straws and an outlet. I think we found a winner here, boys. All right, so this one's six dollars and eighty cents. There's, <laughs> there's a Polaroid photo 
of somebody's dog. Why are you selling a photo of your dog? I don't. Uh, yeah, we got some pins. We have a Georgia pin to Oklahoma in Georgia. Okay. Um, an unknown book. It's probably like a a, a photo album. Um, a bunch of <laughs> a bunch of Arkansas and Oklahoma pins. Why? And then there's a Canadian and American flag like intertwined with each other. I don't understand what kind of person this is. Oh, and the back, is that another Polaroid or is that the back of that one just being torn to shit? So this is about $7. We have another estate, uh, the Energy Saver Bell System Yellow Pages. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. America needs Nixon for president. If that is still a functional pin, I want to just wear that around everywhere I go. Oh, so these are actually still full of crap. So that's like a sewing kit. It's like a nail file, it looks like, with a piece of wood. Um, I think the backing is still on that pin. I think the backing is still on there. Oh, no. There are three M earplugs. Are, is somebody selling some used earplugs? Like, I refuse to believe that they're not used. And even if they are new, the box is clearly old as hell. If there are earplugs in there... Why would you ever consider putting that near your body? Oh look, there's still matches that you normally would get for free from a bank. Cool. cool. I, I'm tempted to buy it just because of the Nixon pin. Oh, there's shoe polish. Hell yeah, I need that. I swear, the back is on there. That looks like the back of a pin. I just want the Nixon pin. That's all I want. Can I just get... Can I pay you an extra dollar to just ship me the Nixon pin and to throw away those earplugs? So many of these people have to just be like, why is this person buying these? Who is wanting these? Um, alright, we got some random keys. Good to know. Oh, a spoon. I really need more of those. Uh, a dog and a horse, uh, 50. That's not American currency, is it? None of that- that looks like this random coins. Uh, a really small- what is that? Is that an instruction manual for a survival kit? How to adjust your kit, how to use a compass, how to use a sundial, uh, the secret of decoder, a scrambled message. What is this? Man on the moon. What is that little book? Oh, those cards are so beat up. Oh, those are- is someone doing magic tricks with the world's smallest deck of cards? Here we go, eight dollars. We got some motherfucking minions. <laughs> Why? What is that? What are you? We we have a Rowlet and a Litten. Those are the only two things I care about. Are those? No. No, those bunny things looked familiar for all of half a second. Uh, the Green Lantern <laughs> in like a Superman pose. Um, okay. Oh, I can't remember your name. Like Hawkman or some dumb shit. This is so dumb, but just because of the Rowlet, I'm tempted to buy it. We, we find Pokemon while looking for junk. Man, that's all I needed. That's all the convincing I needed. Plus, I'll get... Why are there holes in the top of your head? Are you also like a salt shaker or something? I don't want to use you. You're covered in dirt. Junk drawer, toy lot, McDonald's, Disney, miscellaneous small toys. Um, a manta ray, an old lady. Uh, that's from, uh, that white thing. Uh, yokai. Uh, <laughs> that dragon thing looks fucking terrified. Like, it's not terrifying, it's just terrified. I want out of here, I want out of here. Oh no, I recognize these. So, six, seven, eight, so uh, close to nine dollars. These, I am way too familiar with, and I love seeing evidence that they go exactly where I would expect them to. These are like little dumb keychains that you can buy in like tourist shops. Um, because I live in a tourist trap, I'm very familiar with these. You find them on racks everywhere. They cost, like, pennies to manufacture. It costs the store who buys them pennies to buy. And they'll sell them for, like, five dollars. And they make a good profit off of them. Even though they don't, like, sell a lot of them, uh, what they do sell makes up for it. And, like, every time I would see somebody buy one of these, like, I used to work in a store that sold them, I know exactly where they're gonna go. They're not going to go on your keychain, although some of these are showing signs of wear, which is kind of disturbing. Um... They're, they're gonna end up in the trash or just in a random drawer and you're never gonna look at it again. Certificate of love. No matter where you are, no matter what you do, you'll be in my heart because I'll always love you. 
Yeah, so you're going to give this to your spouse? I'm like, yeah, keep this on your keychain, honey. Uh, I want chocolate and I want it now. One day at a time. Sometimes I wake up grouchy. Other times I let him sleep. <laughs> a real friend is someone who walks in when the rest of the world walks out. Uh, I was put on this earth to make your life miserable. That, that just makes you insufferable. To be fair, buying them used, you get, a, you get a good discount. Oh my god, what are we looking at here? Is that a yo-yo? In a frisbee? A random, like, beer koozie. Panther pride, a pin. Redden to table monthly. Uh-huh. A roller. Random Legos. <laughs> just... Just a random tiny bag of, like, seven or eight Legos and, like, a brush, I think? What are you? Are you a flash drive? You know, something about this is just disturbing to me. I don't... I don't like anything about this photograph. Moving on. Alright, we're going back to this random one. Uh, because I feel like I haven't picked up enough things. And I, I just want to add those mini playing cards, and I want to know what this little book is. So, <laughs> tiny little pieces of paper. Um, what, what if, what if these are regular size playing cards, right? And everything else here is just massive. Like, just like giant coins. Like, that's what I'm hoping for here, right? I don't want small playing cards. I want a giant horse, dog, and keys. <laughs> All right, I said that we didn't have an unli unlimited budget. We had a budget higher than this. <laughs> but... <laughs> A lot of these things just aren't worth it, and I have to at least do something for the video. So, we're gonna order these four things. I'm gonna waste $30 on crap that I don't even want, and we'll unbox it uh, as soon as it arrives, which for you guys is going to be in, like, uh, a second. Can you guys tell that I'm uh, serious about my security? Uh, <laughs> my privacy? <laughs> That's why this episode is sponsored by Not A VPN. Don't use VPNs because all they do is nothing. Okay, uh, on a more serious note, they probably are useful, but I'm not big enough for sponsors. Um, so we have three of the packages. The other one hasn't shown up yet, but it's supposed to be here today. So I'm hoping that by the time I get done recording these three packages, it'll be here. So two of these are kind of smaller, but one of them is pretty large and wow. Wow, they just fit all of that in this one tiny little bag. How much did I pay for this again? Probably too much. All right, well, let's pour all this out and see what we have. Oh my god. Okay, we have a red thing that clearly is broken off from something else. Um, we have the world's largest spoon. Very, very nice. Uh, dog. We have dog. You know, my girlfriend actually does, like, a lot of, like, painting and, like, she makes stuff, like, out of resin and crap. Maybe she'll have a use for this dog and horse. But they are, like, so cheap and, like, listen to this. Yeah, that's kind of the plastic this horse is made out of. Um, focus camera. So, we have crappy horse and dog. Man, this video is a great idea. Um, wh why did I buy this one again? Um, another broken red thing. And I don't want to know what this green stuff is they use to wrap around this flower thing that they made uh 50 we have 50 what the hell is this it says hong kong what are they is this a lock this is a lock i don't know sure if you guys can see this this is a lock these have numbers on them. Well, I cracked it. I, I solved the code. I have access to this highly secure, very well built lock now. Man, aren't I a genius? I don't even know what the code was. I just kind of started turning them until I felt them bind. That was about it. But yeah, what a very secure lock. Uh, we have a skull. What does that say? Another Hong Kong. Man, we're just getting everything from Hong Kong. Who who buys this thing intentionally? Look, it's like a keychain skull thing. Uh, a piece of wood. A, a random piece of yellow painted wood. We have a jack. Do you guys remember jacks? Uh, probably not, but... Oh, that's actually not a metal. It looked like it was plastic. That's actually metal. Uh, another piece of plastic. They are just selling their trash. Oh, we have a key. It doesn't go to that lock, but 
maybe it goes to somebody's chastity belt. All right, we have two more keys. This one has been heavily used and is bent. Um, cool. More pieces of plastic. Okay, so when I first saw these coins in that photo, I thought they would feel kind of like quarters. They don't, they're super light. But it says Shell's, Shell's Mr. President coin game. And it just has presidents, Thomas Jefferson, uh, William McKinley, uh, Abraham Lincoln, uh, Hump, Hump Mobile Series 32. Oh, Antique Car Coin Series. Oh, these guys are really big on their, on their coins. It just has a car on it. Oh, another one. Brio V, 1912. Uh, Chandler Sedan, 1920. And one that I dropped, uh, 17th President Andrew Johnson. Wh why? Then there's a single die, just one, really tiny, really tiny little die. But of course, what you guys were all really interested in was the playing cards. Man, aren't these a weird and wacky idea? Playing cards so small, my camera isn't even going to recognize them. Can you tell what card that is? <laughs> It's an ace. I know. Oh, that's a spade. That's a spade. Okay, so that's the ace of spades. What? Why? These are just going to go straight in the trash. Uh, more random tiny cards. But the thing I bought this for, aside from the fact that I needed to actually buy something for this episode, was this tiny little book thing. I wanted to know what this is. With a compass, you can always find your way because the needle always points north. So this is telling you how to use a compass. And then telling time with a sundial. And then the secret decoder. The secret decoder is printed inside the lid of the secret compartment. You can use it to write and unscramble secret moon mission messages. The letters A to Z are in columns one and three, opposite each letter of the alphabet. Okay, did this come with like a crappy kid's toy? This is so tiny. More about the secret decoder. Oh, it's on the back. Butter brown. Unscramble this scrambled message. Yeah, see, I don't have the decoder thing, but thank you. Uh, international code. Okay. Uh, the solar system. The Big Dipper. Uh, Little Dipper and Gemini. Uh, okay, so these are uh, Morse code, basically. Not that you guys can even see. Why am I going through this? This is so stupid. Well, that was a waste of however much money that was. All right, let's check out our next package. It's also kind of small, but not as small. I know I had to open all of these in order to tell what was inside, but I can't tell where I opened this one from. Because I order so much stuff uh, online that I have to actually you know, glance at it to make sure, you know, as to what it is. Okay, I guess I didn't open this one. I thought I did. Um, so we have a brown paper bag. This is definitely feeling like shit from a, a junk drawer. Okay, so this is the one that kind of grossed me out. So let's see what all is in here. Um, pour out our Ziploc bag. And the first thing we have is the thing that disgusted me. Someone selling 3M earplugs. Please tell me that there are no earplugs in- Oh my god. Okay, they don't look used. But they are sticking to each other. So, I'm just gonna put that back in. And throw that away. Okay, we have a baseball pin. Now you're probably wondering what team this is for. Well, this is for Team Baseball. If you guys are big baseball fans, you'll love this baseball pen to show off your your favorite team. Then we have some shoe polish. This is a very small thing of shoe polish. Um, it also looks like it's kind of moldy. I, it's like a sponge, I suppose. I, I don't know. Okay. Oh, the shoe polisher. It's not a shoe. It's not shoe polish. It's the polisher. So you'd hold that in your hand and use that to, yeah, cool. I don't care about shoes. All right, remember, fire safety, gross fitting, uh, aisle TWP fire department, emergency 911, if you need us, whistle. Oh, this is a whistle. Oh, someone else's mouth has been on this. Okay, okay, it's pretty clean. It make a pretty nice sound, it sound like a train. That pretty cool. It literally sounds like a train, but it also kind of sounds like a siren, like you're trying to signal for help. 
I could actually see this thing as being useful. Like, I am not blowing in it that hard. It is stupid loud. I'll probably have to turn down the, the volume there. The, that's actually kind of neat, I'm not gonna lie. Okay, we have some random Banks matches. Uh, I would strike these, but we know that they work because they're just matches, and I don't want to burn this crap here by accident. A nail file. Another thing straight for the trash can. The emergency saver, bell yellow pages. Oh, it's a sewing kit. It's to sew things. Exciting. This is a piece of paper that the inside has all of my information that the eBay seller received. And of course, we have the Nixon pin. The whole reason I bought this pile of trash. Um, it's a little weird. I'm not sure that's quite a pin. It is super beat up. Like, that is super dirty. But America needs Nixon for president. I'm starting to think it's not a pin. It looks more like it hangs from something. Like, you would, like, put it on, like, the inside of your shirt or something, and, like, it would just kind of, like, hang off of your collar, and you'd, like, pinch that to make it somewhat tight. This is weird. Is this, like, an old version of pins? Like, before we were smart enough to, like... Where's that baseball? Before we were smart enough to put backings on them, you would just kind of do that? Or is this for something else and I'm just really dumb and very uncultured? But cool, I'm gonna start just wearing this around town and uh, trying to get Nixon reelected. All right, now we have a big boy. They also put like some stickers and stuff on it. You tend to see that from eBay sellers. I can't really tell you why. But first we have some spin tops. Well, let's see how well these Tops can spin. Do you think that these were dollar store products? Because they look like it. Uh, man, look at it go. Oh, it's still going. Look look at that. Spin top. Spin as a top. Man, this, this is exciting. Oh, it has, like, Dracula on the inside. So do all of these... Oh, it's Halloween themed. I just realized that. Uh, that one also has Dracula, but he's, like, poorly cut. It's, like, staking his eyeball. Uh, this other one has Dracula. That one's actually pretty well centered. Uh, the green ones have the Franken boy, And the orange ones have a pumpkin. But the black ones, the most important of all, have a, a, a witch, I suppose. Yeah, these are just some crap that you would just like give out on Halloween with the candy and the kids would just throw them away. Okay, we have household hardware, shelf support pegs. Uh-huh. You drill holes in a shelf and you can, like in a bookcase, and you can put these in the hole and use it to put a shelf into that like bookcase or whatever. Most bookcases kind of come with their own pegs and stuff for these. So I guess this is if you really want to like modify something that you already have. I mean, I'm not gonna throw these away. These could actually become useful one day. What's next? Oh man, our super powerful pair of binoculars. These are gonna be amazing. Look at these pieces of plastic. <laughs> okay, I'm not gonna lie. They actually kind of work. I don't know how well, <laughs> I don't know if this is gonna work on camera, but <laughs> they kind of work. Like they're, they're not a very strong magnification at all. Um, in fact, on camera, it looks like it's no magnification at all. Uh, whistle, come into focus. Okay, you can kind of see it. It's a very weak magnification. But I remember, like, having some of these dumb things as a kid. And, like, it was always really hard to actually see through them. But, like, these are pretty clear. I can actually see through these things. Doesn't mean that that's enough for it to avoid the trash can. Oh, we have some paper straws. Man, don't you love this movement of turning all of our straws into mush? And we have a cardboard box. What is in the box of cardboard? Just dump it out, whatever the hell. What the hell is this? Okay, it has a light in it. And there's a spring, so I'm gonna think there's room for a battery in here. Oh, yeah, so the battery would go in there and this thing lights up. IR Flasher by Pelican. Pelican. What is this for? Work lights? What? Infrared LED marker. Light designed to work with night vision equipment to provide the user with covert location identification. Uh, the LED pulses at a frequency of two pulses per second for up to 65 hours of operation. 
Okay, I can see in the dark now. Oh good, more paper straws. Something, oh this is like the outlet. Like somebody just like straight up is just selling me electrical equipment, which is kind of fitting. I am a technician, but there's a bit of a difference between a technician and an electrician. Um, and that is ugly. That is a super ugly brown outlet. And it's only a single one. Like, who has just single outlets anymore? You can just cut your breaker, okay? Just cut your breaker. Take out these two screws on your outlet, all right? If you have one of these pieces of crap, take out the two screws. Then here you got three terminals, okay? All you need is a nifty little screwdriver. Again, make sure you cut the breaker. And you can loosen these screws, right? And then you're either gonna have loose, like, stranded wire, or more than likely you're gonna have, like, a connector ring on the end. And you put it underneath that terminal, so the other one will also have a green peg, the other one that you're removing. And you can put it underneath the green peg of a better outlet, and then tighten it down real tight on it. Then, you do that with the silver and the gold top screws. They're all colored, so that way you know which cable goes where. You just have to look at the previous one. It's not hard to figure out. Then you screw this back in and put the cover back on and you can replace your crappy one outlet wall with a double outlet. Man, isn't that real complicated? All right, what do we have here? Oh, this is a poncho. Exciting. I'm always afraid of rain. Um, no, it's, it's in a bag. It's a fancy poncho. All right, let's open this bad boy up. Jesus Christ, I couldn't imagine trying to put this thing back in the bag. Oh, wait, what? It's like connected. Why are you connected? Okay, whatever this is, it's not a poncho. It looks like it's just like a bag cover. So you can like put this over your bag. Like it has this one giant opening. So it just goes over your current backpack or whatever. Um, it basically just feels like a tent. Okay, we have a card from the eBay seller. I'm not showing that off. And something, we definitely have something in this bag. What are you? Okay. Uh, so there's like a cover thing. We have two, we have four terminals on this. So it's meant to actuate, right? We also have a screw. Well, a, a nut. It's meant to like, you know, kind of go down on this. Oh, I'm doing this off camera. It's meant to like go down on here to like kind of hold this in place. Like you're just like insert it into something. So this would be like behind something. This would be, is this a switch? It is a switch. It's a switch. Okay. So if you guys don't know how switches work, it's actually fairly simple. Here you got two terminals. Here you have two terminals. Your wires connect here. Then what you do is you have like a hole in something. It has to be as, uh, you know, as wide as this thread right here. So you'd insert it from behind through that hole like that then you would screw this down over top of it to kind of wedge it in between, you know, the two pieces. This is a pretty basic switch. Um, and then whenever those two turn, basically you're trying to ground it out. I'm not too sure if you can see, but right here, you have two pieces of metal, two pieces of metal behind them that are actually, they're both connected to these terminals. So whenever I hit the switch one direction, I'm actually separating these two panels by uh, using the back of the switch to push this one further out. Therefore, these two panels are no longer making a connection, but these two are. So this switch is basically being activated. It works the backwards to how you would think. You might think, you know, hit it down, turns it off. But in reality, your on and off is backwards on the back end of this thing. Um, focus on it. Well, this is actually a multi-way switch, so you have a center piece right here where both would be active, and you can turn it that way to deactivate that one. Again, you have to think about it backwards. What it's looking for in this kind of switch, depending on how you want to wire it, is you're actually looking for both of these uh, are to be, if, if these are both connecting, if they're both touching and sending a, they're making a complete circuit, then they're not doing anything. What happens is when you break the circuit, whatever you have this wired up to, whatever you know board you have it wired to, is going to see that broken circuit and go, okay, I need to do this when this circuit breaks, and same with this direction. So it's kind of backwards how you might expect these things to work. Um, I could be wrong on part of this, as again, I am a technician, but there are some things like, you know, I don't work with this. This is not a common thing for me. Most of the switches I work on are a lot more modern and a lot more simple than this. This is a very mechanical 
kind of switch that would definitely break in any kind of like industry, you know, like business where it's being used a lot. It's a really flimsy kind of switch, but I could actually see a use for this. This is one thing I probably won't be throwing away. Did you hear the whistle? That means that we're done with all three packages and the fourth one still hasn't arrived. So I get to go out and do nothing for the next hour or two until USPS decides to actually <gasps> deliver my last package. Just a heads up, uh, in this next section, my microphone cable kind of started uh, freaking out and you're gonna hear like a lot of popping, a little bit of distortion. Don't worry, it's not super loud. It's not going to, uh, you know, blow out your speakers or your ears. It's just kind of really annoying. Uh, yeah, I, if you can't tell, the cable has been replaced, but you're about to hear how bad it was. Okay, it's finally here. It did arrive on time. Just a few hours after I recorded the other part, but it's here. So they actually had this inside of another bag and it just smelled awful. I don't know what kind of household this is coming from, but the smell is just super off-putting. But this is the one that's arguably the most exciting, so we're gonna grab randomly. And of course it starts off with the minion. Does this thing move? What the hell happened to this thing? It has like paint and shit on it. What the hell? So we can like spin his arms and leg, oh, I get it. He, he does, he does the thing. Man, that's thrilling. Next we have a bunny thing. Look at the bunny thing. My camera, I don't know if you guys are seeing it, but on my on my screen, this looks real weird. You, are you guys seeing that like, that like wave of red wherever my hand is going around it? That's not, I think my camera's just fucked. What the hell? Um, oh, this is a, Promotion from Sonic. Yeah, so these are made by Kid Robot. They're called Dunnies, but I guess they were giving these away at Sonic. Cool. Uh, we got a bunny. Hell yeah, we got the Rowlet. He is also super dirty. Uh, really, really dirty. Oh my god. I was somewhat excited for these things. Oh, he's a wind-up. Alright, let's give him a little wind. Let's curl him up. Let's go, Rowlet. You, you gonna go, buddy? You, you gonna... See, if I just help him along, he kind of goes. Yeah, he kind of goes if I just kind of help him. Yeah, he, he broken. All right, what's next? We have a dog. That's it. Just a, uh, a random dog with a scarf. Is this, like, from something? 20th Century Fox Burger King... 2574. Yeah, I have no idea. I'm guessing it's from a movie or something. Oh, hell yeah. We got the the green boy from the movie that nobody liked. Yeah, the Green Lantern's always been just like a okay hero to me. All right, well, now we have a... What's sad is this is probably the best condition one that we've seen, and it's the one that I care probably the least about. I think I even like the minion more, and that's saying something. What else we got? Oh, boy, another minion. What does this one do? Oh, he also just kind of waves his arms back and forth. I have a feeling we're missing pieces to this thing. Uh, Funexpress.com yeah, go there to get your Fun Express plastic. Oh boy, another minion. Man, he has a golf club broken around his neck region. That That's so weird and wacky. I am sad that we have minions in my house now. Up until this point, this house has been minion free. Uh, we have another kid robot bunny. I know I've seen these before, but these look a little bit different than the ones I've seen. Oh my god, I thought he was clean until I saw the back. All right, well, little bun bun. What's next? We have a character whose name I can't remember, but we have Avengers Boy. Focus on him. Giant head, pretty much completely unpainted body, and an exposed hand. And it looks like they're supposed to like link to each other so you can get like a bunch of these going. Oh, you press this little penis coming out of the back of his head and he moves his arm back and forth. That's thrilling right there. Yeah, when I thought I was the most excited for this one, I meant it sounded like the least crap. Uh, 
but my mind is beginning to change. So we have a bird. Is this supposed to be like Hawkman? What the hell are we looking at here? Okay, so his wings can kind of go in and out and back and forth. And he exists, I think. What's next in our pile of random shit? Oh, look, we have another of the same minion. Exciting. This time, all the paint is missing from his hand. Uh, oh my god, this thing is dirty as hell as well. But we have a, a mushroom. I think it's supposed to make a sound because we have an on and off switch here. But they left it in the on position. And then there's a button. So I'm wondering if we can take this thing apart and like put batteries in this thing. Uh, we got another bunny with just a mouth for a face. And our last item is a litten. Actually, we have this. It's missing a piece. This must be like a little red piece that goes in its mouth and you press this button and it fires. It was a McDonald's thing. Um, me and Anna went to McDonald's a while back and saw that they had these. That was years ago. God, that was... These are old as hell, actually. Yeah, okay, 2017. So not super old, but like... Yeah, yeah, we, we have another Litten boy. So yeah, we bought a bunch of junk. Aren't you super excited for all of the dumb shit that I wasted my money on? Um, so yeah, uh, this was kind of like a trial run for this new series of eBay shopping, and I think it went pretty well. I mean, we got just a bunch of things that are going to be used to fill my trash can. I was so tired of my trash cans not having enough stuff to fill them. So this really worked out pretty well for filling up my trash can. So yeah, if you guys like this, uh, feel free to suggest other keywords we can use on eBay down there in the comment section. Obviously Pokemon is gonna be one, we might do Yu-Gi-Oh, things that I like to do. But since my channel name is Junk Seeker, it's a play on my usual username, I figured searching for junk would be the most fitting for the first episode. Plus I wanted to explore that weird subgenre of eBay where people are just selling stuff from their junk drawers. They're just clearing them out. And like, the fact that people are still selling these, that this seems to be like a trend of just clearing out your, your junk drawer and selling it on eBay. I mean, that would imply that there's people who were actually buying these. And maybe it's just dumb YouTubers like me. But maybe there's actually people who are interested in this crap, and that's why we keep seeing it get sold on eBay? Um... Yeah, I really cannot tell you. I was hoping to learn more by going through all of this, but no, it's all just trash and like one or two things that are worth holding on to. But yeah, if you liked this dumb video, give it a like, subscribe to the channel, and hopefully I'll see you all next time. Make sure to recommend search terms for the, the eBay shit. Goodbye.